Hello from brothers and sisters, Kieran McKenna is doing an unbelievable job with Ipswich after 22 years they are in Premier League, but in this video we are going to see how is he going uh, to rebuild Manchester United, so I am going to use my in-game editor and I am going to move him to Manchester United, he is going to be a new manager of Manchester United, I won't give him money but he will be able to rebuild Manchester United and we are going to see what kind of team, what kind of results he is going to make there. And first season of Manchester United under McKenna and not a great season, only 7th place Conference League, 53 points, <clears throat> but this was only first season guys, yeah, and if we check McKenna we're gonna see that actually uh, he didn't buy any new players till now, didn't uh, sell any players, he has winning percentage 44%. Yeah, it's not that bad for the first season because we still expect from him to build up the Manchester United squad. And let's say who did perform the best. And to check that, in, uh, we see that uh, top goal scorer was yeah, who are the Nasmus came on 21 goal. Uh, he's he's improving a bit. He's 21. Uh, Garnacho is playing good, 13 goals, three assists, also playing well. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, of course, 13 goals, 9 assists, he's, a monster. he's the best player of Manchester, in my opinion, yeah. Rashford, I love Rashford, sometimes he's playing awesome, sometimes he's not that good, uh, but he did okay, not that brilliant, I mean, 10 goals, 4 assists, still expecting much more. If you check assists, we're gonna see that uh, Kobe Mino had 12 assists, wow, really good season for him, and he's improving, he's only 19 years old. Yeah, okay, I'll let check uh, all results that Manchester United made, check the ending of the season, what happened there? Lost in quarterfinal FA Cup, then lost almost all the games, didn't win in uh, more than 10 games, well, what the ending? In Champions League got to the uh, um, round 16 and lost from Atletico Madrid on penalties, a bit unlucky. So, wasn't that brilliant season, no new uh, transfers, let's go into the season number 2. Second season is over and it's much better season, second place, only 3 points behind Manchester City and Pep Guardiola, yeah, Manchester United 79 points, 9 loses, 4 draws, 25 wins, this was really cool season, I want to check the transfers that he did, oh he started buying some players, like this one, Vangelis Pavlidis from Azal Al Alkmar, 26 years old, Greek striker, uh, I'm not sure about this transfer, it's too much, 41 million for him, and he played with C27 games, 5 goals, yeah I don't see some real quality for Manchester United, for some other clubs maybe, and this is a really big money, yeah he was playing for Al Altman William 2, Borussia Dortmund second team, so he's nothing special to be honest. Uh, then Mohamed Simakan, I like this uh, central back, yeah he came from Leipzig and I really love him even in real life, uh, 37 million for him it's not that big money, because he has superb physical attributes, uh, mental attributes also great, not bad heading, not bad passing technique, everything is just fine, I think he can be really great help for Manchester United in this season, yeah, uh, then we see Umar Sadik, wow this guy was playing for Partizan Belgrade, I was watching him alive, uh, I mean he has adorable physical attributes but he's a bit clumsy in, in, in my opinion, yeah, in real life. Uh, we see he came for 32 million from uh, Real San Sebastian, was playing as you see for Partizan Belgrade one season, then uh, two seasons actually, and they sold him to Almeria for 9 million, really interesting striker, uh, we'll see how is he going to perform there. Uh, then we see Leon Goretzka from Bayern Munich, what a transfer, yeah this, the only problem he's 30 years old but he's a classy player. He came um, for 28 million. Uh, this maybe this is okay transfer. And we see another player from uh, Bar Leverkusen. That's Mate Kovar, Czech goalkeeper. Reflex is 16. I don't think that uh, he's better than Onana. That's for sure. He came for 20 million. Uh, actually, he was at Manchester United. Wow. Maybe just in the, the time when uh, McKenna was assistant. Ah, uh, who knows? Okay. Uh, and we see another transfer. David Martinez, Colombian. Uh, he's, let's check his potential, I'm curious, 161, great potential, and already fantastic mental attributes, this guy is a wunderkid, guys, yeah, and he, he's cheap, yeah, he came for only around 8 million, okay, I see one uh, free transfer, that's Alex Berenger, uh, Berenguer, I don't know why they signed him, because he's nothing, he came for free, playing for Torino, Bilbao, I don't see some quality. And let's see, uh, did he sell someone? Diogo Dalot to Real Madrid, 38 million. Lindelof to Monaco, 12 million. Malasia, 7 million to Finnard. Donny Wanderbeck uh, to Brentford for only around 1 million. Uh, so, 
these were the transfers martial free transfer brand williams free transfer this is it this first season but let's check all the results that manchester united made and check this first trophy for mckenna european league one against valencia 1-0 fantastic i'm really happy about uh, mckenna and his first trophy so who scored the goal Halen scored the goal uh 1-0 european league is there fantastic first trophy too bad that he didn't win the premier division he was really close to it okay and let's see the tactics so this is a team right now uh four two three one uh not too many changes we see martinez is playing as a left back he's not great there that's for sure he's more central back simakan is there okay Casemiro goretzka is there anyway um we see like two changes simakan and goretzka was, are playing right now let's go into the third season anyway year 2026 third season is over but again fifth place qualified for champions league not that bad i mean uh 63 points for manchester united um i mean that that's still not the brilliant season let's check the transfers there is one incredible transfer guys danny olmo from leipzig unbelievable technician and what is going on he's already transfer listed why <sighs> i don't know he wants maybe much much higher salary wage yeah and this is the reason he's superb technician he came for 37 million from leipzig ah uh, did he play games we see he played like 13 matches only one assist not a brilliant performance maybe this is the reason why they want to sell him also okay let's check all the transfers that manchester united did uh we see that ericsson went on a free transfer to sporting and we see there is another player amado um, dante 25 years old left back superb speed technical attributes not for manchester united and he came from sturm graz for 16 million yeah nothing special we see one uh, free agent right back or can some turkish guy and we see lorenzo pirola came from ac milan on loan he's okay player some nice physical attributes can help yeah, as a central back and unbelievable transfer alexander mitrovic wow i love him yeah uh he's the best serbian player uh, and for a long time he's doing all the things for national team yeah we see he came as a free agent was playing for al hilal he went there for 50 million uh, from fulham and now he i think he, he will help that's for sure too bad that manchester united didn't sign him in real life i'm sure he would do much better than hail that Hale and that's my opinion anyway okay uh so some interesting transfers and i don't see some great sales maybe this one alex they don't need him and they sell him for six million he came as a free agent if we check all the results that uh, they made uh in the last season we see champions league got to the round 16 lost from leipzig so season wasn't that successful successful to be honest let's go into the season number four year 2027 fourth season of manchester united under mckenna and another bad season in premier league qualified for champions league but that's it 62 points behind tottenham chelsea even behind tottenham is that possible a month city won the title uh, let's see all the results i want to check that and wow there is one unbelievable thing what a trophy for kieran mckenna this is why manchester united fans uh, i mean should be happy if they really sign him they won the champions league beating by munich in the final unbelievable yeah fantastic i didn't expect this when i see what how did they perform in in um premier league in champions league they won the title and this was the a team in the final fernandez Halen, rashford Gnacho, mount maino show martinez simakan one bisako only simakan is a new face there okay fantastic beating arsenal uh in the quarter final then beating real madrid in the uh semi-final also won fa cup i didn't see this beating newcastle two trophies in the same season wow rashford scored a goal what a season unbelievable the, uh, this is this is something this is really something and if we check um managers we're gonna see that uh, killer mckenna is three years there five cups he won five cups champions league fa cup south american club challenge european league carabao cup uh, this is something guys he has 54 percent winning percentage till now uh that means that's great to be honest uh even in real life this would be awesome only premier league he's he didn't win the premier league but let's check all the players and who did perform the best Hale on the 18 goals so he was top goal scorer he's growing up he's already at full potential 
Na dan Bruno Fernandes, 70 goals, 13 assists. Wow, amazing season. Rashford also 14 goals, 5 assists, good season. Alexander Mitrovic, as I said, he's going to help, guys, and he helped a lot. 13 goals in, and only 11 times he was in starting 11. Uh, 38 times as a sub and 2 assists. Fantastic, yeah, still can help. He's 32, but he can help, that's for sure. Uh, then Garnacho, 8 goals, 3 assists, 7 goals for Umar Sadik, but he's on loan at Real San Sebastian. So he played like 2 seasons there, didn't have room. Scored five goals in the first season, second season, only one goal, and he's now there. Yeah, uh, doesn't have quality to play for Manchester United. Uh, also, we, hear, we see big number of assists from Leon Goretzka, nine assists. Luke Shaw had seven assists. Mason Mount, fantastic season, seven assists, ten goals. So, these are the best players, and player with the highest average rating is Marcus Rashford. What a season for him. Anyway, okay, uh, this is a tactic, same tactic, uh, almost the same team that won the Champions League. I see Simak and there. Okay, now let's let's see what's... Uh, well, we didn't check the transfers, yeah, we're going to check that right now. So in this season, um, I don't see some new transfers. Um, nah, nah, nothing special. So this is it. Uh, let's go into the next season. We are indeed 2028 and one crazy thing happened that I have noticed that Vladimir Mirovic, my favorite manager, is a manager of Wolves right now. How is this possible? I don't know. Happens really. Okay, we see that uh, he's departed as a manager of Red Star Belgrade after agreeing terms with another club. And now he's a new manager of Wolves. He won everything with the Red Star Belgrade problem and this is why they have signed him. Okay, anyway, let's see what happened with uh, Mark United. Second place. Uh, this time nine points uh, actually yeah, nine points behind manchester city pep guardiola is still uh doing the best things for manchester city 77 points seems that uh mckenna can't win the title that's a problem uh but let's see what happened with the transfers in this season i see two transfers that's lorenzo priola we spoke about him he was alone there and now he came for 33 million he's okay central back ashraf hakimi from al Ittihad for 41 million this is great transfer the only problem maybe he's 29 but checks still unbelievable crossing speed he's going to help a lot especially because manchester united doesn't have good right backs my my opinion yeah hakimi is going to rock and roll there i don't see some great transfers uh, uh he earned only 130 000. Uh, so this is it for now let's check uh, results in other competitions champions league got to the uh, round 16 and their loss from arsenal okay uh, so wasn't that bad season second place in premier league but uh, no trophies in this season we see rashford destroyed in this season 16 goals ganacho nice season uh, Jaden sancho 10 goals yeah ashraf hakimi new fellow five assists one goal 12 goals from for Bruno Fernandes. Okay, and uh, Haaland, of course, 18 goals, top goals. Haaland Mitrovic again, 12 goals, one assist, nine times as a starter. He's still helping, he's still 33, but still help a lot. As I said, too bad that we didn't see him in the real life at Manchester United. Kobe Maino, six assists, eight assists for, for Mason Mount. And if you check the tactics, we're going to see this is the team. Still not too many changes, except that Fernandez is playing as a striker. Wow, he's a new striker of Manchester United. Uh, Martinez Maino, Dante is playing as a left back. Poor technical attributes, to be honest, for Manchester United. Hakimi now, Simak and Pirola. We have totally new defense. Yeah, four guys, all these guys are new. Hakimi is superb, classy. Simakan is not bad. Uh, Pirola is also okay, so let's say this is okay defense. The only Dante left back is not that great. Uh, McKenna need, needs to find a better left back. Goalkeeper is fantastic, that's Onana. Martinez, Maino, they're playing uh, there. Okay, uh, Mount, Garnacho, Rashford, Fernandes. So this is a team, not that quality, and, but still okay. Uh, it's time to go into the next season, number six. Six season is over and nothing new. So again, second place, guys. This time, 82 points. Not bad at all, but Manchester City is unbeatable. Simply, Pep Guardiola is doing great with all these monsters. Yeah, six losses, seven rows, 25 wins, 82 points. This is great, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, now let's check. There is one incredible thing. In this, uh, in this season, McKenna was spending like a crazy 272 million unbelievable and he bought one player i don't like this transfer 100 million for brian and 
come on guys he's not worth he's 29 years old and you paid 100 million for him what is this i don't i don't get it he was playing for brantford i mean he is for brantford he's not for manchester united to be honest he is okay but 100 million for Bran Mbwemo. What a stupid transfer. Unbelievable. Then we have one guy from uh, Manu Kone from uh, Borussia Mecklenburg. Actually, he's great. Super mental, great tackling technique, passing. He has all the things. Uh, he was playing uh, like 10 seasons for Borussia Mecklenburg. Actually, 7 seasons to lose. And now he came for 65 million. Another big transfer. Then we have one guy, uh, Miss John, Giovanni Miss John central back who is this i don't know 20 came for two million probably some good wonder kid uh, seven million for uh, juan de dios garcia uh, who is this america from uh seven million yeah mexico probably some nice and we see one really interesting free transfer that's michael coyote fantastic italian right back i love him always trying to sign him but he's already transfer listed he came as a free agent from... Uh, he was playing for Arsenal. Yeah, wow. Arsenal got him for 33 million. He actually, he didn't play any matches. This is why he didn't improve that much. Yeah. Uh, okay, he has great potential. Leandro is there. Brazilian striker. Wow, what a finishing. Nice speed. Another wound from Fluminense. I want to check his potential. Uh, 168. Unbelievable potential. Current ability also not bad. I think he can help. He was, he's very young. Uh, then Matt Riley, Norwegian DM, uh, interesting playing to be honest. Not a classy but good player. Was playing for AC Milan, they got him from Celtic. MK Dons, wow, Fulham, uh, 30 million to AC Milan, now 55 million to Manchester. And last transfer in this uh, transfer window, Dakur, 29 years old, uh, Malian DM, he's a good player, yeah, but still 32 million, I don't know, playing for Crystal Palace. He can help. He's nothing special, but he can help. Uh, we see that he uh, sold like Alvaro Fernandez to, uh, and one Bissaka for only four million. So didn't earn only eleven million. He got only eleven million. I want to check all the players in this season. How did they perform? Haaland, twenty-seven goals. This is the best season of Haaland. Yeah, he destroyed everyone. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, twenty goals, twenty-two assists. What a season! And he's thirty-four right now, losing physical attributes. Rashford 15 goals, Garnacho 13 goals, Alexander Mitrovic, he's wanted by Al Nasser, but he's still helping, 11 goals guys, wow, oh, another good season for him, fantastic to be honest, Dani Olmo, 8 goals, 8 assists, he was playing okay, yeah, and he didn't play too many games, only eight, uh, 10 games as a starter, 14 games as a sub, and the guy who, who is paid 100 million, come on, this is a joke, uh, he played like uh, 11 games, in first team, 24 games as a sub, 6 goals, 6 assists, not that bad, but still he's not in first team and he's paid 100 million. Unbelievable, stupid transfer. Ashraf Hakimi, 4 uh, goals, 3 assists. Mason Mount, 4 goals, 2 assists. So this is it. Uh, we see also 5 assists for uh, central back. And if you check the tactics, we're going to see that um, team is not too much changed. Difference is totally new. Uh, midfield, not not too many changes Maino again as a dm fernandez ganacho rashford Haaland. i want uh we'll see what's going to happen the next season but this is it in uh champions league we see another trophy for uh, mckenna that's fa cup in champions league again ross from arsenal anyway another trophy for mckenna okay let's go into the last season number seven and the last season in the 724 experiment uh mckenna at manchester united again man city won the title nobody can beat them uh, simply two points behind uh, arsenal and manchester city and again they won the title what's gonna happen today in real life we're gonna see that because they're playing against west Ham. probably they're gonna win the title in real life again yeah, in front of Arsenal, yeah. Okay, anyway, uh, let's see what happened with uh, them, uh, with the Manchester United. Did they sign, uh, we see in this uh, in this transfer window, in this season, again, uh, McKenna was really active. He spent a big money, 242 million. And let's see, he bought Victor Boniface as a striker. Yeah, good choice. Uh, he was playing for Bar Leverkusen, came for but too much money 93 million okay then bought German Musial I like this transfer from Paris Saint-Germain 73 million wow this is adorable transfer maybe replacement from for Bruno Fernandes who is getting old 73 million not big money for a class then Bruno Guimaraes from Newcastle 29 million 
Another interesting player, but he's 32. That's a problem. Was playing for Newcastle almost 10 seasons. Then Carlos Vinicius Flamengo, who is this guy? Some wonder kid, probably. Yeah, fantastic uh, physical attributes. Then we have Angelo, who uh, 25 years old, winger. Uh, superb dribbling. Came from Alduhal, was at Chelsea. 13 million. Not that big money. Uh, some guy who is this? Kawasaki. Ashaki Higashi. Ha! Kawasaki, let's see his hidden things. Uh, some really awesome technical attributes. Finishing 18, potential 140, 54. Not bad. Interesting kid. Yeah, as I said. Uh, then we have Lars, Norwegian, uh, probably Wunderkind. Luis Ramos, another Wunderkind. So he was signing some really interesting. And there is there is a famous face, Joris Kothar, uh, French DM. I like this guy. He has awesome vision, super passing, worst touch, mental attributes, perfect. Came. Uh, for free, I was playing for Al Ittihad uh, before this for one player ten seasons. Al Ittihad got him for twenty eight million. Now he's f got f now McKenna gets him for free. Uh, Lucas Hernandez from Paris Saint Germain, but he's thirty four years old. Uh, I don't think he will help guys. Yeah, yeah, nothing got him for free, but nah, he's not help. And we see Rafa Marin, who's on loan from Real Madrid, but joining permanently. Twenty years old central back, good central back. Uh, we see that finally he starts spending, uh, I mean, selling some players. Altai, uh, goalkeeper to Besiktas, 15 million. Pavlidis to Feyenoord. As I said, he doesn't have quality, around 10 million. Alexander Mitrovic, this, he sold him for 4 million, but now he's 35. Yeah, good transfer. Leon Goretzka for only 2 million, but he's also 35. Uh, Kajod on loan. So, this is it. And uh, let's check... Uh, squad right now in this season the best player marcus rashford 21 goals hail and uh, musiala 14 goals and eight assists and if you check hidden things let's see who is the best player so the best player of uh, manchester united after seven years of rebuilding um, i mean mckenna kieran mckenna rebuilds manchester and he has musiala the best player 185 garnacho is second he improved a lot get almost full potential on on anna Mason Mount is third, 167 current ability. Rashford, uh, after seven years, still great player. Hakimi, he's there also, one of the best players. Haaland, 161, he improved. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, he's 35, almost 36. Uh, still classic current ability. Who's this Kadim Lewis, a new fellow? He, he's at Manchester, created at Manchester. He's going to be a new star, that's for sure. Potential, 167. One, already one of the best players. Boniface is there as a striker. Okay, so this is the full team, guys. Yes. If we check tactics, we're going to see that uh, he changed some things. What do you think about teams? About this team, guys? We see that the only thing is that Martinez is still left back. <laughs> he didn't find better left back. Pirole is central back. Uh, Marin, a new fellow from Real Madrid, is central back. Hakimi, right back. Fantastic. Onana, goalkeeper. Uh, Kotar, the DM with Mason Mount, okay. Then we hit Garnacho, Musiala as attacking mister and Boniface as a striker. So, team is changed. Uh, this is good team, but still not that class, classy team. This team can't win title. That's my opinion. What do you think about this team, guys, in seven years? I want to hear your opinion. Did he create really good team? Uh, okay. And now we are going to check managers. So, McKenna is a manager of... Uh, uh, Manchester United for almost seven years, yeah, and he won nine cups. He didn't win the league, that's a problem. He won Community Shield, FA Cup, Carabao Cup, Champions League in the year 2027. That's fantastic. That's that that's actually the biggest success of Kieran McKenna winning the Champions League with Manchester United and some other cups, but still didn't win the Premier League. Yeah. We see what's going to happen in real life. I mean, uh, rumors are that Kieran McKenna is now wanted by many clubs, because what he did with Ipswich that that's really amazing, amazing. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you and bye bye.